And this is time. Homeowners upset with their HOA for fining them over plants and leaving shoes outside were blocked from going into their own HOA meeting. We first brought you their concerns last night at 5. And they believe board members are using a selfie stick to take pictures of those violations on their patios. And Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance spent today looking into the board's actions. Kind of a crazy story. Yeah, our big question today was could the HOA legally block these Mira Mesa homeowners from going into a regular meeting? Homeowners who pay hundreds of dollars every month to that HOA. Why can't we get in here? And it says my name on it. And it says 630. Homeowners fined for having unapproved plants and window shades showed up to face the board Monday night. Instead, they were met by this man. But who are you? Yeah, I'm not I'm not at liberty to say that, sir. If you have any further He would only let one homeowner in at a time and only if they had a scheduled hearing. Spouses were not allowed in. But I want to be able to let your wife in. After the hearings, it was open session, but he would not let homeowners in unless they were on a list, like this man in the purple shirt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I want to be able to let you in today. Unfortunately, he blocked Team 10 and that man from trying to ask why. I don't have your name on the list, sir. I don't have your name on the list, sir. Team 10 showed Attorney Robin Sassy our video and explained what happened at the HOA meeting. Any anyone can stop here. She said, "No, you can come in." I don't understand why. That's that's absolutely wrong. Um, he's a homeowner. He's been paying his HOA dues. Uh, he's a part of the homeowners association. He's he's allowed to be there. Sassy works on HOA cases and is on her own HOA board. She said homeowners can't be excluded under the law. According to the statute, they can, if, if the court has to step in, they can get reasonable attorneys' fees and costs for having to bring an action to enforce their rights. Further, the court can also impose a $500 penalty for each violation. She said the only good that could come of this, the homeowners coming together. If I was on the board, I'd be very, very nervous right now. I reached out to the attorney for the Heritage at Concord Square Unit 2 Association. I'm still waiting for her response. I asked other HOA attorneys about what agency, if any, oversees HOA boards. They told me none. Your options, get an attorney or get involved, get on the board. This is a story we'll continue to follow. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance. No doubt more to come, Kristen. All right, well, do you have an HOA horror story? Let Kristen troubleshoot it. Email her at kristen.severance at 10news.com or you can tweet her at 10newsseverance.